What's going on Neon Nation, welcome back to the Neon Arcade for a Cyberpunk 2077 and 2020 lore and world building video. Today we're talking about all the classes and archetypes of characters we can find in the world of Cyberpunk 2077 and Night City. We've already covered the main classes we personally will get to utilize in the solo, netrunner, and techie in a prior video, so we'll go through all the other classes in the Cyberpunk lore in this one. If you did miss that particular video, I'll link it for you guys in the pinned comment. First we have the Nomads. If you've ever seen a Mad Max movie, then Nomads will look familiar to you. Nomads are classified as road warriors and gypsies who are forced to roam the highways after being ousted from their places of living by the mega corporations. Nomads are essentially groups of these now homeless outcasts banding together with their fleets of RVs, motorbikes, and rusting cars. Nomads travel in packs, scouring the outskirts of Night City for spare parts and odds and ends. Nomad packs generally have members with a wide variety of skills including mechanics, medtechs, and teachers. They're also proficient with using stolen weapons and guns and even the younger Nomad members know how to use at the very least a knife. Nomads follow outer city limit harvests and tend to resort to trading as a means of diversifying their resources. Nomad packs act like mini mobile armies and can even be hired out for muscle in the city. Scouts are the visible leaders of Nomads who drive the swiftest vehicles and are clad in leather embossed armors. Scouts protect convoys from attacks and decide on where the pack will settle for the night. Fixers according to the cyberpunk lore are the deal makers, smugglers, organizers, and information brokers. They're essentially the crime lords of the cyberpunk world. Using skills acquired in pursuing a corporate job but wanting to do things their own way, Fixers put together jobs for cyberpunks under the radar of the mega corporations they once used to want to work for. Moving illegal weapons across the border, stealing and reselling supplies, hiring out a nomad pack, or even acting on behalf of a high profile solo or netrunner, Fixers are always thinking two steps ahead to always place themselves in positions of power and they are as street savvy as they come. Corporates are slick business raiders that have bought into the corporate dream, hook, line, and sinker. Before the world evolved into a futuristic dystopia, corporates would have been wide-eyed business students or leaders looking to create, market, and sell a passion project or hot commodity. In Night City, however, corporates are in a ruthless and bloody struggle to climb the ranks of the mega corporations. Corporates will kill those ahead of them and silence those nipping at their heels. Sabotage, bribery, blackmail, and threats of assassination are a daily occurrence for a young, fresh-faced corporate. Cops are the street muscle in Night City. Cops are constantly in danger due to new gangs, new drugs, and new weapons. Cops are equipped to the T in Night City and are still largely outgunned in relation to the cyber gang sporting super speed, reflexes, and the latest street tech. Not only this, but megacorp funded gangs who are hired to carry out and enforce corporate policies and dodgy activities also pose a huge threat to cops. Cops patrolling the concrete jungle have to keep a keen eye and ear to the environment surrounding them. Around every turn, there is danger. Corporate cops conversely live in a relatively stable life. Equipped with all the latest tech, combat armor, trauma team backup, and AV assault vehicles, messing with them is generally not favorable. They patrol only the areas licensed to them, whether that means clean office sectors or combat zones. Psycho squads are one of the biggest branches of law enforcement in Night City. They have to go toe to toe with cyber psychos who can walk through bullet fire without feeling a thing. Cyber psycho squads are generally not too mentally stable either. They grab the biggest gun they can find, dose up on a myriad of combat drugs, and go hunt these individuals solo. Your everyday cop isn't well equipped for any of that. Medias are the frontline journalists in cyberpunk. They will go to any means to get the truth and stop those in positions of power who are manipulating it for their own personal gain. Utilizing nothing more than a video camera and a small crew, medias are seen by millions worldwide on TV and deliver stories that mega corporations don't want you to hear. Medias have fans, contracts, and their own mega corporation backing them for their own safety. It seems like not all mega corporations in Night City are out for blood. Wars, drugs, gangs, violence, manipulation, and power struggles are all within a media sphere of expertise, and medias generally have a variety of netrunners working for them to uncover corporate web secrets. Medias are always on the clock, just in case something truly big breaks. 
Finally, we have Rocker Boys, rebellious characters who use music and performances to revolt and fight against authority. These street poets take their message to the streets in the form of music, poetry, and performances to speak their mind and incite a revolution against the megacorps. As a rocker boy, you have the power to get people to rise up through your own creativity and expose corruption and bring down powerful dictators through your lyrics and inspirational speeches. Before we end guys, thank you so much for 10k subscribers and to celebrate, we've released our first wave of Neon Nation merch. I really tried to nail down a cool style for you guys, so if you guys are interested in that, check out the pinned comment. And for everything and anything Cyberpunk 2077, join Neon Nation by subscribing.